Bob was always interested in the Downtown Business Association as a property owner and he loved to work on the Alumni Association with Central State and was president at one time. He loved Bronco sports and so he, um, in the last few years though, he had been serving on the Edmond Visual Arts Commission, which is in putting all the lovely statues around Edmond and the murals. And so that was his love too. We've been art collectors for some time. And so the idea of adding aesthetics and art to the landscape of Edmond has always been one of our prime concerns. In fact, we found when Touch the Clouds was going to be available and contacted the Edmund guru, Randall Shaded, and told him about it. And so it came to tuition, and that's why it sits on 2nd Street now and is really a highlight of our Edmund art pieces. For me, I came as a girl from Oklahoma City and grew to love Edmund. I started out volunteering for PTA as the... As, um, the chairman of a carnival committee at Orvis Reisner, and it just kind of grew from that. But one of the things that I think I've done the most that I enjoyed, two things that I've enjoyed the most, I was on the Edmund Fourth of July committee for such a long time and was president in 1989. And there is nothing like planning and programming and doing all of the work that it takes to put on the Fourth of July celebration and then you see an entire town come out and celebrate that event and that is such a rewarding thing. The thing about volunteering is that you try to give to a community but you get so much more in return for that. It is such a hyacinth for the soul as my mother-in-law would say. It um, just feeds your soul to know that you have done something that has added to the beauty or the history of this beautiful town. Hopefully Bob and I will be remembered as ones that really tried to contribute to the aesthetics and the beauty of this wonderful little community.